Hi there folks and welcome back to my channel and for this video I've come back into Glasgow I'm actually in the, Finis in the Finiston area of the city uh, I've actually come to the Glasgow Science Centre which is right across the river from the Riverside Museum, the Clydeside Distillery and the SECC so the SECC is the Exhibition Centre so I've never actually been in the Science Centre before. I know people who have been inside it before and from the photos that they've taken that I've seen it actually looks like a really interesting place and I think it is kind of quite it is quite popular for like for kids to go to. I think it is mostly open at the weekends and during school holidays so therefore it is essentially uh, catered mostly to, mostly to children but I thought it'd be an interesting place to come and visit and see what's going on and let you see what's what's happening. So I'm just gonna grab my bags and, and my things in a minute and head on in. And but before I do that, a wee bit of housekeeping first. If you're enjoying my channel, if you enjoy my videos, if you can click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channelscoffee.com page in the description bar below and in a pinned comment in the comment section. So with that out the road, I'm going to head on over to the Science Centre. So that's the Science Centre there, the outside of it. And you can see the, the Glasgow Tower. That is part of the Science Centre, but it hasn't been opened, it hasn't opened really uh, since the first year the Science Centre opened up. Because I think there were issues with the tower itself, and it's just been left standing there, but you can't get inside. But the rest of the building, you will be able to get into. Uh, it's a bit of a view of the tower there. And I think that's the. I think that actually might be the Waverley over there. Uh, but just to make out the tall ship behind it. I think they are currently working on the roof of the science centre. So that's something that they are obviously making sure is looked after. And they do have a little bit of a uh, wetland habitat. You can visit why why you're here. Yeah, it's a better view of the tower there. And I think that's the I think that actually might be the Waverley over there. Yeah, but just to make out the tall ship behind it. I think they are currently working on the roof of the science centre, so it's something that they are obviously making sure is looked after. And they do have a little bit of a uh, wetland habitat you can visit while, while you're, you're here. Yeah, And obviously they do have some stuff on about the COP conference which should take place last year just across the river. Yeah, I will try and use my microphone for this because it is quite busy and quite noisy. But you will find lots of different little experiments that you can use and play with in order to play with science. And it has its own planetarium where you can go and explore the solar system. So somewhere for all of you lovers of space and astrophysics. And if I remember correctly, the Andromeda Galaxy is the nearest galaxy to us. You know, it was the nearest galaxy to the Milky Way.
Yeah, it was actually really, really quite busy in there, but then again, with the Science Centre only being open for weekends and school holidays, it's, that's going to be when everyone's going to descend on the, bit, on the place and try and kind of get in. So, but it is very much design, uh, designed and aimed at families and kids. Yeah, because it's a great way to get kids interested in science and to make them learn about science is to make it fun, make it entertaining and make it all a game and get them engaged that way. So it's definitely good in that sense that they do very much make it fun and make it interesting and definitely use that as a way of getting the kids interested. And I'm going to try and see if I can get around the other side and try and see if I can get around see what else I can see and find. Yeah, they are in the process of creating a outer space for the Science Centre. So that's the main building for the Science Centre there. And the, the egg-shaped building over there, that's the IMAX. So that's just the, the Glasgow Tower over there. And they do have a lot of information boards along the river. That's uh, the armadillo over there. That's the uh, part of the SECC. Uh, I'm sure that's the Finnis and Crane. Uh, so if you're looking for something to eat and drink outside, there is a wee, a wee uh, stall you can go to. So I'll give a wee look at these uh, boards to try and see what they say. And there is a wee footbridge that takes you across the water as well. So that's the Millennium Bridge, it takes you over to where the SECC and that is. And then you can just make out the Clydeside distillery over there, because it's clock tower. And that's the Riverside Museum over there with the tall ship. And again, a lot of the information ports they have here are about science, about how science can be used to help protect the environment, and how to improve the world around us. So I'm not going to be able to show all the information boards because that would take a long time. I'm going to try and see if I can walk down to where the steamship is. I'm sure that is Waverly. Yeah, it is. I can see the name of it from, from here. So I'm going to get on over and try and get a good look at her. So that's the steamship Waverly. It does... Uh, do boat trips up and down the Clyde. I think it goes to some of the islands as well. Because I did manage to see that last year when it was docking at Largs. And I was coming back over, over from Isle of Cumbria. Yeah, the Waverley is not the only paddle steamer uh, here at the Science Centre. There's also that one behind me there, which from what I've been call, uh, told is called uh, the Queen Mary. So I'm going to go over and have a wander. I don't think I'll be able to go on this one either. Because uh, I, I know with the Waverley they're actually working on getting that ready for the season and getting that ready for plying its way up and down the river. So uh, hopefully at some point I might try and see if I can get on a wee trip on that as well. Uh, I'm not too sure what's happening with the Queen Mary. I do know it's docked here, but I'll go over and have a wee wander and try and see what I can see is going on. And yeah, just to have a general wee nosy. So this is the Queen Mary here. I think there is some information down here. Don't know if maybe they're trying to restore her, so that maybe she could 
be a bit like the Waverley, which is over there. And take fucking day trips. If they are, it'd be really nice to see. Yeah, she is currently under restoration. And you can donate to the restoration fund at the website. In fact, you can see right into our deck as well. I assume that's happened to the information board. It would be quite interesting to see. Yeah, I will definitely have a look at the website for the Queen Mary Queen Mary when I get home. And I'll definitely post that in the link the link for it in the description bar below and the pinned comment. So if you want to have a real look, get, you can get some more information there. Well, that's me finished my visit to the Glasgow Science Centre. And again, with it being where it is, it's got the Millennium Bridge. You probably walked it from the city centre or if you've done uh, the, 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 the city bus tour thing. You could probably get off at the, the Transport Museum, the Riverside Museum and walk along from there so it's probably fairly easy to, to get to if you're if you want to come and explore this part of the the city itself and even though it is something that can be busy when it's open especially because it is popular with like families with it for their kids and it is something that is very educational makes science very fun makes it entertaining uh, yeah, I'm like, it's, I can understand why a lot of families do come and visit. But it's also with the planetarium as well. I wasn't able to get in because you've got to book beforehand to get into the planetarium. But So I will post a link to the Science Centre's website. So if you're wanting to get more information about what they offer, how to get into like things at the planetarium show, what events they might have on in their science theatre. So yeah. Definitely have a wee, a wee nosy at their, their website. But I've definitely enjoyed my little visit to the Science Centre itself. This is actually the first time I've ever been here. So definitely an experience for myself. Hopefully you will all have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you will all be intrigued and plan a visit to the Science Centre if you're ever visiting Glasgow. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.